Calloway. Yeah. Uh, might I be able to speak with you, Mr. Calloway? Yeah? You gonna start trouble? That is not the way I do things. Wasn't easy catching up with you there. You always cause this kind of commotion. How are you gonna do things? I would appreciate it if we could uh, solve this matter peacefully. I am I'm truly sorry that this got so out of hand. If we may resolve this with the sheriff. We're just gambling away a large pot there, boy. Well, then, I reckon the best plan for solving our little ordeal we get our goods back, them ponies as a consolation. Mr. Calloway, I have come in here unarmed. Now, I don't half expect you to turn yourselves in, but you have taken more than what's been stolen from you, and all I am asking is for my horses back, as they are my property. Now, enough blood has already been spilt over this matter. And I hear I just... I'm show my boy the proper way of doing things, see? You just hold up right there, Wrangler. You don't come in here with your hands in your pockets and your little lamb by your side and preach a sermon about the proper way of doing things. You want to know the proper way of doing things? Take this here gun. Blow my fucking brains out, good and proper. Thank you for your time, Mr. Calloway. Come on, son. Come on. Come on, William. Let's go. I most certainly don't condone shooting a lady over a bunch of apples. But you gotta understand, your wife ain't the only one got shot in this ordeal. Doing business, so to speak, with Calloway ain't never a quiet matter. You'd know this if you've been around here longer. No. Where was it you said you are from again, Mr... Edward McCarty. Mr. Garrett, we uh, come from Fort Sumner. Pity. Oh, pity is why we're here. Battlefield's no place to raise a child. And it's the reason why I can't do nothing, Mr. McCarty. And Callaway ain't no bank robbing, horse rustling outlaw. But the last time a sheriff around here went against him, he brought a lashing down on this town worse than anything on Blackie's back. Then what do you suggest I do? Stock up on more bullets. Well, all we can afford are the the two we got, one for each firearm. Well, I'd recommend you put them to good use. Quiet. On your own accord. That is not the way I do things. Paul. William, with me now. Rumor on the wind is a town not far west of here is offering $200 on Callaway's head. Killed a fella in some drunken knife fight or some such. Whether the story has merit doesn't much matter. I'd advise you take that offer. And Edward, my condolences.
we gonna do, Pa? We're gonna... We're gonna pray for her, William. We're gonna pray for her. I was told them cars fled the army were shot down all the same. Yeah, well... I ain't fleeing, William. Because if I intervene, I mean, you risk getting hurt. Now, taking care of your ma, well, that's the best way of protecting you both, all right? Well, you really did one hell of a job protecting her, didn't you? I will settle this in time. I just... I, I need to think of how. <laughs> what time? Where are you going? William? William, you can't just run off. Where did you get that horse? Well, a rancher for the North Hat. I told him about Ma and our situation, and he offered it to me. A rancher? Uh, yeah. yeah, out of goodwill, see? Listen, your ma, she needs you now. We're gonna talk about this later. William! Don't run off again. Party. Word. Morning. There is a commotion in town. Calloway's rampaging around saying he got a horse stolen. Because ain't no way he couldn't escape up with his fence and all. I saw your boy tethering along a horse back to your farm just yesterday. I ain't saying that their horse is Calloway's horse. But the sun sure as hell gonna rise in the west, Mr. McCarty. Yeah. And you listen carefully, Edmund. You hold tight to what's yours, you understand? You keep that boy far away from town. I'll, uh, I'll go speak with him, Sheriff. Come on, Blackie. Get some food. Uh, 
I made a mistake letting you wander too far off last time. You're staying with me. She is dying, Pa. She's gonna starve to death. This ain't fair. William, do you want to know what isn't fair? What isn't fair is you're stealing and putting our lives in danger. That isn't fair. Oh, f fucking bullshit. Watch your language, William. You watch your language. Where are you going? I am going to fix your mistake. William? William! William? William? I'm heading out west. I don't know how long till I'm back. Billy, what did you do?